Hello everyone, welcome to the weekly review of my daughter's 529 plan. This plan will get transferred over to or converted to an ABLE account starting in the year 2024. ABLE account is an investment slash checking account for individuals with disability. My daughter does have a severe disability, so the ABLE account will just give me a lot more flexibility in terms of using it for her ongoing care, and I can use it for anything. So that's housing, food, education, clothing, anything that goes towards ensuring that she has the best life possible. Now, how I plan to actually use the account once it's converted is as an investment account. So same how I'm, how I'm doing here. So I just plan to contribute what I can every single month and view that more as her retirement account than day-to-day -day expenses and care for her. As long as I'm able to work full-time, I plan to cash flow her living expenses just like I've been doing for the past four years that she's been alive. Okay, with that, balance on the account is $21,642, which is so awesome. Let's go ahead and look at the deposits for the past week. There was only one deposit in the amount of $150. I have a 90-10% allocation portfolio split for this account. So any money I contribute, 90% goes to the growth stock index portfolio. That's why $135 of the $150 went there. And 10% goes to the aggressive growth. That's why $15 out of the $150 went there. But that was all I had last week to contribute to the account. And you see here, there's $50 that I am planning to contribute next week. And if I'm able to contribute more, I will. Actually, next week is a payday, so I'll definitely be contributing more money um, to the account. And year-to-date, I've contributed $6,000. The original 2023 contribu cont contributions goal for this account was $5,000. Then I put a stretch goal of hitting $6,000 for the year and I accomplished that. I'm not going to set another contribution goal just because I've met both the original and the stretch goal. So what I'm going to do again is just keep on contributing like I always have to the account every week, whatever I can, and just see where it hits. I am feeling just a bit better in terms of this account status because it is at that $21,000 balance. And now I'm thinking out loud, I don't know why, cause I want, I would want, I want like half a million dollars <laughs> to, to be the balance. So I don't, I don't know why I feel like I'm close to something cause I'm really, really, really far away from what I would actually want the account balance to be. But I think it's just, I'm just so proud to see it finally, you know, in the 20 K plus mark or realm and just really looking forward to, to it continuing to grow. Let's go ahead and look at the performance. Recently, I've been very pleased with it because it's one of the few investments that I'm actually making money on instead of losing money. We'll talk about the one I'm losing money on next. <laughs> but as you see here, principal of my own money, I've put in $19,531.22. But there's earnings. There's actual gains of $2,110.78, which is what brings it up to the current balance. And to highlight what I was talking about before in terms of the portfolio split, you see it here, and then the balance in each of the, the portfolio. Okay, that is it for this week's update, and I'll catch you next week. Bye.